uh, you know, what, what they could be facing now? Well, there are in total actually 21 girls. What you saw in those pictures are 14 girls. Those are the, the ones above the age of 18. But the lawyer tells us that seven others who are below the age of 18 appeared in another court, but they were all given that same sentence of 11 years and one month. Now, these girls belong to something called the 7 a.m. Uh, movement. Uh, they are all students either at high school or university, and what they usually did was before going uh, to school or university, they stopped on the street. Sometimes they had balloons with the four-finger uh, uh, symbol of the anti-coup alliance printed on, or on that specific day when they were uh, detained, they were forming a human chain. Now, they do support the anti-coup alliance, they do support the Muslim Brotherhood, but I have to tell you that, you know, these pictures of those girls uh, dressed in white, standing in that uh, defendant's cage has uh, surprised and even angered many people, and the sentencing they, they got, the harsh sentencing they got, has angered a lot of Egyptians across the board, regardless of their political affiliations, and probably put the interim government in a very difficult position, uh, because these girls haven't done anything else that just stand in the street for half an hour a day, not every day, and just voice their opinion. And, and Hoda, obviously uh, the government making a point about the fact it's going to crack down on anyone who uh, protests, uh, and yet we also have this six-hour window where effectively you can protest. Uh, it's just come to, to a close. What did we see? Did anything happen? Well, the, the protest uh, actually did end up officially about an hour ago, Cairo time, and there are no reports of clashes and confrontation. I think what happened is that after the uproar uh, that happened yesterday here, because of the way the security forces dealt with the uh, protest, uh, they did allow uh, this window of opportunity, those six hours for the protesters. Now, if you speak to the youth movements, they will tell you that they did not put forward or any notice, they did not ask the interior ministry for permission. What the interior ministry is saying is actually that the father of Jika, who's a very famous uh, young man who died in the clashes in Mohammed Mahmoud Street last year, is the one who actually put forward that uh, notice. Uh, but you do have this sort of... Uh, people put these two sides trying to impose their own authority on each other uh, the the interim government is saying that this protest law is not to curtail anyone's civil rights but just to regulate things so other people's rights are not taken away it says that it does uh, support the security forces uh, and on the other side the protesters are saying well remember you government we are the people who brought you to power through our own protests so you have no right to regulate us and at this particular time in this country you have other things to think about that are more important than protests by some young people it is very challenging for the interim government because this is a very politically charged moment in the country uh, the constitutional committee is about uh, to vote on the final draft of the Constitution and then this country will go to, forward to a referendum so certainly something the government did not need a challenge from within its own camp because many of these young people were back in, on June 30th in Tahrir Square calling on the defense minister to overthrow former President Mohammed Morsi. Hoda Bilhamid live for us in Cairo. Hoda thank you.